from seriously scary insects to the critically endangered pangolin. Here are 20 of the strangest creatures in Africa. Welcome to Weird Wonders Wednesday. This shout out going to Blood Flow High. We appreciate those nice words, mate. We are glad you like the videos. Thanks for letting us know. And if the content agrees with you, do like and subscribe, as they say. Cheers. Number 20, Dwarf Mongoose. As its name implies, this is a smaller version of the mongoose and looks very much like its larger relatives. Like other of its kind, it has a large pointed head, short limbs, and long claws. They're often found in open forests and areas that have termite mounds, which they like to sleep on. They measure around 11 inches long and can weigh less than a pound. Now did you know that serves to make them the smallest carnivores in Africa? Galego. This nocturnal primate is also called a bush baby. That's because when it gives a call of danger, it'll make a crying noise which sounds very much like that of a human child. They have keen eyesight and sharp hearing and live in isolated woodlands of east and western parts of Africa. Ostrich. Did you know the world's biggest bird is the ostrich? Large males can tower over 9 feet tall and weigh over 300 pounds. And with its ability to run at peak speeds of 60 miles per hour, they're not only the fastest bird on land, they're the fastest two-legged animal in the world, according to our sources. Did you know that ostrich eggs can weigh around 3 pounds, making them the largest eggs in the world today? Greater Kudu. This large species of antelope is found through the eastern and southern parts of Africa and can weigh around 600 pounds. Bulls are noted for their unusual horns, which have two and a half twists. Straightened out, they would extend to about four feet, but horns exceeding six feet long have been claimed, although not verified. If you're wondering, yes, there is a lesser Kudu. That species weighs around 240 pounds. King Baboon Spider. Now that is a cool name, but this arachnid is actually a species of tarantula native to East Africa, and they've become popular among tarantula collectors. The arachnids are noted for the thick legs, which are used for digging burrows, and they have a leg span approaching nearly 8 inches. Now that size, along with their defensive nature and fearsome appearance, can make them a dicey choice for beginning collectors. Although not dangerous to humans, their venom can produce sharp pain and itchiness. Elephant shrew. These animals resemble rodents, opossums, but we are told these diminutive creatures are actually more closely related to elephants than to shrews, so maybe that accounts for the elongated nose. They can reach around 11 inches in size and weigh just over a pound. Did you know this animal is considered one of the fastest small mammals and have been recorded reaching speeds of more than 18 miles per hour? Wildebeest. Now, these critters are also known as news. That's G N U S. And they're in the same family as cattle and goats. They come in two colors, blue and black, and they are two separate species. The blue variety is considered the most prevalent big game species and can weigh up to 600 pounds. While black wildebeests are considered more nomadic, both species are known to take part in the Great Migration. That's an annual event where more than a million of the creatures will cross the plains of the Serengeti, searching for better grazing land and water. Rain spiders. When you mention huntsman spiders, you might think of Australia, since the arachnids are commonly found there. But a scary looking species of these creatures is also found in Africa. They have an average leg span of around four and a half inches, so they're smaller than the Aussie counterparts. And although they are venomous, their bite would have an effect on a human that is similar to that of a bee sting. They're called rain spiders because they often enter homes just before it rains. African wild dog. Thanks to its colorful fur, it's also known as the African painted dog. Experts think their unique coloration might serve as a means of visual identification, helping the animals recognize one another up to 100 meters away. They're found in arid zones and savannas of sub-Saharan Africa, but they have vanished from much of their original territory. Now considered endangered, current populations are estimated at some 6,600 individuals. 
crested porcupines. The porcupine's quills are a well-known and well-respected defense mechanism in the animal kingdom. The African crested porcupine is an old-world species found from Italy through sub-Saharan Africa. Its quills run from the head, along the back, and can be raised into a crest-like formation, hence the name. Quills on this animal can reach 14 inches long, and they're known to run backwards to impale their pursuers. Did you know these critters have short tails with quills that produce a rattling sound? Warthog. The harsh look of these bristly wild pigs means they're well adapted to the harsh environment in sub-Saharan Africa. The fearsome upper tusks of the male can reach some 25 inches long, and they have an additional pair of lower tusks that is razor sharp. The unsightly wattles, or wart-like pads found on the heads, actually serve to protect the animal. Aardvark. It eats ants, but it's not an anteater. It burrows like a pig, but it's not a pig. The aardvark is so unique, it's the only member of its order, and its closest relatives are elephants. This animal can be found in the fossil record going back some 55 million years ago, essentially unchanged from the modern-day version. Spiny Flower Mantis. This strange looking critter is an insect found in southern and eastern Africa and is a species of praying mantis. It's distinguished by a spiral design that resembles the number nine on its forewings, and the striking coloration has made them popular pet choices. Like most mantids, these creatures are carnivorous. The front legs have hooks and barbs that are used for catching prey, which often happens to be the fellow mantids. and Coli Watusi. Now these cattle are considered medium-sized, weighing between 900 to 1600 pounds, but there is nothing medium-sized about the horns. They are huge. They can reach up to eight feet from tip to tip. Experts say they're used for self-defense. These animals have served as food and currency among African tribes. Tribal status was also connected with the animals. Cattle with the largest horns were claimed by the king and considered sacred. And this breed, therefore, is often referred to as the cattle of kings. Mandrill. These old world monkeys are known to live in very large groups, up to 800 individuals, and they can get pretty big, with males weighing more than 100 pounds, which makes them the world's largest monkeys. While they have some impressive physical characteristics, like canines almost two inches long, they're best known for their distinctive facial colorations. That's usually exhibited as a red stripe down the center of the muzzle, blue ridges protruding outward, and red lips and nostrils. Gerenuk. Now that word means giraffe-necked in Somali. Not difficult to understand why. These are antelope that are able to balance themselves on the hind legs to feed from branches and vegetation their shorter-necked relatives cannot reach. That long neck gives the animal the nickname giraffe gazelle, but they're really antelopes. When they stand on the hind legs to feed off tree branches, they can stand more than six and a half feet tall. They're found mostly in Kenya, Ethiopia, and Tanzania. Shoebill. Now, as you might guess, this bird's name is inspired by its massive bill, which is shaped not unlike a shoe. In addition to that imposing look, these creatures can be physically imposing as well. They can reach a height over five feet and a wingspan more than eight and a half feet. They're often native to swamplands from Sudan to Zambia. Although they're often referred to as storks, its true relation to other birds still remains a mystery. Okapi. Now you'd almost swear that someone crossbred a giraffe with a zebra, but the okapi is its own animal and lives in the tropical rainforest of the Democratic Republic of Congo. Despite the zebra-like horizontal markings, the okapi's closest living relative actually is a giraffe. You can kind of tell that from the elongated neck. The okapi's odd coloration is thought to help the animal better camouflage itself among foliage and vegetation. Now, before it was described by British zoologists in 1901, it was thought to be a mythical creature referred to as the African unicorn. Armored Ground Cricket. The name is a little misleading. 
Although these insects do appear armored, they're not related to true crickets, which belong to another family. This non-flying species can grow to about two inches, and that spiky exoskeleton is a type of defense mechanism. But it's not the only defense mechanism. They can squirt a fluid through the armor called a hemolymph, which is kind of like an insect's version of blood. It can be toxic to predators, and they can also use the powerful jaws, which are known to inflict a painful gash. Pangolin. This is said to be the only mammal known in the world that is covered in scales. These critters are found in Asia in addition to Africa and tend to grow close to 40 inches long. The scales are made out of keratin, the same material that makes up your fingernails, and they're used for protection when the animal rolls itself up into a ball. And that behavior is similar to that of armadillos, with which they're often confused. However, they are not related. New evidence has shown that pangolins are more closely related to the carnivora, which which includes wolves and bears. Did you know that pangolins are the most illegally trafficked animals in the world?